So, Mr. Greg, we can actually look in the faces of some of these wonderful people who stepped out here. He said a little bit, just a little bit Dick more. Dick Gregory live at the promontory. A little bit more. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Gregory. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for coming. And, uh, uh, country's real fucked up. <laughs> be talking about white folks. <laughs> if you can guarantee, I will not be talking about you. <laughs> so I want a few people to believe that it ain't but about 5,000 white folks in America, America, and the rest of y'all is imposters. <laughs> See, white ain't a color, it's an attitude. Give me one more back to it, down. And if you ain't got trillions of dollars in your bank, you can't have the attitude. <laughs> and most of you white folks, and most of you black folks in here, ain't never seen a white person. <laughs> it's imitation niggas. <laughs> let me tell you what I mean. If you want to know if you white, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me ask for a short chance. <laughs> somewhere. And I don't know how Trump been scared the shit out y'all. Uh. Especially you Christians. Because you know you've been fucking up. God shall not kill and you let your children go to war. You should change it. God shall not kill unless the white folks tell you. Oh. Somewhere. And this bullshit here in Chicago. Y'all got to be the biggest fools in the world. The thing that here's a bunch of punks, ain't never been to war, just walking down the street killing people, and you think the cops in the American Indian Park? I used to live here when this bullshit started. How many of you in this room know that Jeff Ford, head of the Blackstone Rangers, can I read or write? And when Nixon won the first election, he was on the front row of the inauguration. And that don't bother you? That don't matter. As long as you tell you niggas, so even you black folk want to believe that shit. Huh? And when you look at the list of the billionaires that contribute to that pump, the lawyers that they got. What's up, Mo? That white church, Fishy Ran. That's where the guns was, and at that time, people were very careful about going and serving the church. And y'all don't understand that shit? Hmm. Somewhere. Somewhere. And I'll say one thing about Trump. 
white folks listen good. It's ugly as he is if a black woman would have had an ugly boy like that. That nigga never would have been out the basement. <laughs> He'd have been able to from the Chinese born till now. <laughs> I was in New York the other day and walked past Trump, and I said, if you get any for your thoughts, he gave me change back. <laughs> I couldn't expect black folks to be tolerant. But so you've been a slave. But you white folks, the gray ring Back then, the if you went down and applied for a job, collecting garbage. Before you get it, you got to bring in your last year's tax return, and here's a punk running for president, Ray. and you white folks scared and think you white? Darren. What's mm. wrong with that? <laughs> okay. Later on, we talk about you white folks and their dogs. I don't know what the shit is, y'all, about I fucking dog. <laughs> I live well, my, my, across the pond, my name is Steinway Piano. Mm. Up the hill is ocean spray. Yeah. Now, them be real white folks. <laughs> them the ones that send your ass to war, but they don't go. And you stupid enough to go? Mm. Especially you black folks go to Korea, the Korea shoot your fucking foot off, and 10 years later, Korea can open up a store next door to where you live, and you can't open up one? Mm. And you think you grow? Somewhere, somewhere. And black ladies, please, if you know your power, you know your power. You're the only woman on the planet, a black woman in there can take a butter knife and cut that nigga's ties to the rim. <laughs> and you ain't never been to school to learn that. <laughs> and all you ask that punk is who is Melba. <laughs> somewhere. So black men, when you kind of change your cut, because a butter knife ain't you sure. You can't cut butter with a butter knife. <laughs> and this black man, he's so fucked up. He's been through so much shit. Baby, you got some good pussy. You ever ask that motherfucker what is pussy? <laughs> and what is good pussy? <laughs> Every woman got one. Huh? See how that shit work? Booty. What the fuck is booty? Anybody know? Booty is the loot that the pirate takes off the ship. These niggas just make up words. <laughs> there you go. You got some good pussy. She, she ought to fit her husband for it. motherfucker didn't think it was good. <laughs> somewhere. Somewhere. But the power that you have, not from the church, from the same God that made the moon, the sun, the stars, huh? Then the fucking mafia going to the Catholic Church every day and ask for forgiveness because he know we're going to do the same fucking thing this evening. <laughs> oh, Father, I wish you forgive me. I killed 12 people last night. And do it quick. I got four more to kill for a minute. <laughs> And you black men, you need to tell these black women the real shit you do. Huh? Yeah, four PhDs, millions of dollars in the bank, and a cracker walked up to you and said, Are you behaving? Is your fucking mama behaving? No, all right. What's this shit about? Huh? Mm. Somewhere, when you know who you are, you all walk around talking about you free. You white, well, you ain't goddamn free. Go look at the stats. In America today, one out of every four women is abused. Look it up. Cops, one out of every two. So you motherfucking cops don't think you can do this shit if you want to, but you're going to take it right home. That's what this shit is about. Hey, you motherfuckers coming in. Well, all cops on bad. When a lawyer loses license, you don't say all oh, lawyers are not bad. Mm. When a doctor get this bar, you don't say all oh, doctors are not bad. You crazy? Somewhere. I was listening to that shit. My mama. Oh, I was eight years old. My mama said, "Santo is a white man," and she was buying the fucking talk. Hey, Mary Carey. <laughs> this is the legendary Dick Gregory. He's a little wrong. Hey, well, There's a real. white man coming in a black neighborhood after midnight all in right, Spanish to come to a fucking chamber. <laughs> I used to be out there, not because I believed him. I tried to catch him one of them ring deers and cook them. 
somewhere when you see fucking president get elected if you believe that bullshit and put five generals in the cabinet and y'all don't know we be in war in six months. I'm not talking about you want to go to school. I'm talking about you once as well educated and all that. Are you crazy? Now, I'll be honest, I was in the service for three days. <laughs> yeah, three days. Um, 85 this year. <laughs> Married 58 years. <laughs> you want to look at this shit, I didn't say I was happy. <laughs> So I go in the army, and I didn't know what shit I know now. American. And you black folks, when you when you trying to tip something over with you, that black bumping knuckles, do what the white boys do, don't go. Anything you want. So So my third day in the army, I got out of that motherfucker. When I was in, wasn't no integration. Oh, white captains and all that shit telling us what to do. Captain stand on the stand like this, 50,000 black folks in there. And I want you boys to understand if you get captured by the enemy, give nothing but name, rank, and steel number. You understand? Well, I don't understand. Well, you don't <laughs> What's wrong with you, stupid? I might be. <laughs> but you don't understand what I'm saying now. This is my third day in the army. You call the Pentagon and tell them to put on Dick Gregory's record. If I get caught, y'all better change all your fucking used to be seats. Somehow, somebody's going to hop right down my back, pulling my fingernails off, and sticking pins in my eyes all right, tell them what I'm on And if she don't understand that, she'll understand that fucking white hot water hit her back. Sitting in the emergency exit. If there's a problem, we should be a shot by the wreck. 
I'm talking to the problem. There's a problem. You have to help over this in order to get that to pay I don't want this at you. <laughs> and and, and, and people tell us that traveling with a child, this is the first time I travel with one of my children. If you see them things, fall out of put your own on first. You're not going to do that anyway. I told my son, now you're not with your mother now. You're going to listen to your mother talking to you.
you know my heart. <laughs> you know, if I win it, I'll be right. And I don't want to mess up. I know you know everything. I, I did it with my wife two years ago. 56 years. I don't think I'd leave with that money. God, I ain't never had a beating in the head of God. <laughs> I keep that money. I might walk around and say, you know what? The fuck's wrong with your back? If we didn't know I'm here, they'd hold me right back. It was just me now. I didn't know I'm just seeing it just now. You know what? <laughs> somewhere. 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 Even black like folk, I know you say. You all don't walk around. I was, we was here beating years for white folk. I don't know where you are. But you know, I think all them Bibles that we wrote back then, and you think they wrote it? We wrote it. Somewhere. And I look at you, my boy, and you're like, they're dogs. <laughs> you are nanny to change your baby's diaper from white boy to walk your own dog and pick up your dog shit. <laughs> that could be something wrong with that. Somewhere. And credit, who care about credit? That brother, my oldest brother, got five PhDs. <laughs> and he wanted to be white. He moved out to California with the stars here. He, he got a, a, a Japanese guard, and nigga ain't got no grass. <laughs> Shit just got bad. Now he called me the other day. Brother, I need to talk to you. But they about to repossess my car. I'm almost out here. Don't park in front of the house. <laughs> <laughs> and my younger brother, that thing ain't never worked. He ain't never had a job. And he don't lie. I would never work me and my sister last Halloween went by his house dressed as a job. <laughs> he had a song. I just called, talked to Trump people. They followed all the shows I do. And I tell them, like I'm telling y'all, you know Trump, tell me don't stop fucking with us. The food, don't fuck it. Let me tell you, he don't stop fucking up the beach shoes and beach and beach. I mean, you might go, if you have 
cooking. Every day, y'all, the center, we had it once a month. So we're doing all this here. Every day, you have it. And then come, oh, you got it. Oh. That wait till they give you, comes in on the prayer plan. Huh? They pray all the way, all the way until they get you. Wrap in silver and shit. And they open it up and put it on your tongue. The black church, they just take off. And the bishop goes, so <laughs> It ain't got no goddamn in the power of the black church, if it's three people for communion, he slapped it and it breaks into three people. If it's 10,000, he'll slap it and break it. 10,000 people, now that's power. Somewhere. And so you hear, we're the only country in the world that has good schools and bad schools. They don't have a good Pepsi Cola and a bad Pepsi Cola. But they got a good school. You know the goddamn good one. You get a PhD in medicine from Ole Miss and you get one from Harvard. All over the world, yours is worth more than the one from Mississippi. But you don't tolerate that. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. And white folks love me. You know, if y'all don't love me, you ain't white. <laughs> they love me because they know first, I'll tell you the truth. Second, I don't have no hate. None whatsoever. And so somewhere, like I tell you, I live on these rich white folks, my neighbors. And somewhere, when you stop and think, now, those who don't need a wife, we know the human. Niggas know, you know how much money I ain't going to pay you back. <laughs> see, see how it is? Mr. Gregory, uh, you owe us some money, or you must have the wrong number. <laughs> and I don't know how you keep up. So, what do you do? Send the child to the Mom, he's not here. You tell the child to lie. Boy, he did a lie to you. <laughs> see that one? It's that simple. And then you black folk don't understand what, what, what they trying to do. A nigga lie to get some pussy. What you tell the white boy to do to control the whole planet? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh. Every time a week clap, you scream. <laughs> <laughs> they all talk about athletes going over a building. They not building this people. They fucking athletes. You try. You don't know nothing about no goddamn business. All you do is let your old punky ass boys get out there and run out. I see a slave all over again. The nigga on the football field picking cotton white boys sitting on the bench with a football trying to act in each other. And we woke up, what, two mornings ago and found out that, 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 that the guy in Boston hanging himself. I see that too. Mm -hmm. And they so dumb, they say, well, we looking for a suicide. Now, what can you do for a fucking suicide note in a jail cell that y'all couldn't find it? <laughs> I think it's lawyers. Lawyers put him up to do that shit. Do you know that two days before they found him dead, did you know he, that case of those other murders, did you know the judge threw that shit out? And once they found him dead the other day, you know what the law is about? If you appeal it and you die, or the judge die, all that shit is thrown out. So when they bury his ass, it's the day of the morning. He don't go as a convicted murderer, he couldn't. That's the law of life. So somewhere, when you start thinking about what does that mean? Papers got to pay him all this money. Yeah. The insurance got to pay all this money. This is what this shit is about. So somewhere, you stop and think who you are. And like I said, white folks love me. I went to what was it, Budapest, three weeks ago. They want to pay me two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to be their dinner speaker. Then they come up to me for lunch. Have a lunch and give me another hundred thousand dollars if you speak. Now I'm not like most of you niggas. Y'all be happy. I'm gonna get in my ghetto shit. Uh, what are you gonna be talking? Whatever on your mind, I said, well, I'll be. 
What happens in albinos after high school?
and act like you angry. Ah! And somebody sitting with you, look at your forehead when you do that shit move up here. That's a different set of muscles that when you angry, that pitches another muscle and drop a gas down there that destroys your nutrition. All that shit's already been taken care of. But you don't know it. So, Dr. King, what a brother, took on the mightiest nation in the history of the planet and brought him to their knees without a number. But that won't be the goddamn thing. Imagine you at home, four children, a wife, in the phone range. Goddamn nigga, we're gonna blow up your house and he couldn't call the police because the police made the call. You know, you think about that, you know? Someone, think about it. So I, you know, I say to you, I know who you are. You got some of that power. God made you somewhere. I love to go and I look at you motherfuckers, go out and eat and say the blessing. How come you never bless the wine or the whiskey? You think something wrong with it? Somewhere. Somewhere. I used to drink. What do y'all do? I used to drink a fifth of scotch every day. I'm an alcoholic. I wasn't drinking it, drinking because I needed it. I drink the shit because I like it. <laughs> Those of you that know me, four packs of cigarettes every day. Huh? My top weight was 398 pounds. But well, I'm like a bunch of black folks. Y'all make me. That's why you see me walking down. I ain't never had a first body lord. Always in the list of the front of the door. Ah! You all make me. White folks and black folks stop putting all that kind of creeps on fucking entertainers and athletes, huh? There's more people who are sitting in this room right now that have done more for the humanity than 99% of all white and black entertainers and athletes. I don't know if I recognize you. Most of you don't even know who John Brown was, a white man, huh? Thomas Ferry, huh? And he took his children with him and watched two of them die. So many And this year, 2017, they just recognized him on the back of a court. It takes a long time to read their heart. Right. Then they all know when they, they honored me and gave me a the shit they call it, the Hall of Fame. Go put your foot in the shit. <laughs> Walk of Fame. Well, cool. <laughs> Two years ago, the first time I asked the long for what took y'all so long? Y'all gonna be so happy you did it. I'm fuck that. What took you so long? I know why. Google it. You see it work work. Cause I've been a bad boy. <laughs> I ain't never used dope. Ain't never had sex with a white woman. And I'm just sitting there thinking, it's my love for you. I'm scared of white women. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the movie, I saw Dracula, Wolfman, Frankenstein, and all of them came out of a white woman. I think they motherfuckers are still my love. Something that my mother said, huh? She said, 
said, don't never tell nobody you poor. You just busted. Poor is a mental condition. Busted is a temporary situation. Mm -hmm. So someone and you know, biggest nightclub on the block in America, and I know you, there was no drugs involved, there was no chasing bitches and all that shit. That's why I didn't know, that's why I never been to the goddamn scandal. I said, if I get in front of that in the club, I'm not checking on you, sir. I'm going to bring some bitches here and try to get some pussy. That don't even make sense. So, anyway, so I just say thank you, brother. To you black folks in this town, y'all, the white folks didn't make me. Y'all listen to me when I wasn't even funny, but I got to listen to y'all that pushed me all the way downtown when you couldn't afford to come see me. <laughs> and I just say thanks. Oh, this is Bill Cosby shit. I know Bill Cosby. I got seven dollars. I would never say he didn't do it. I don't know. And I'll tell you one thing. Black and white entertainment now they can do anything they fucking want to do and nobody busts them. Well, they busted him way back there when they killed his son. Huh? Oh, they busted him. Because him and Ed Weinberg was going to buy him and BC. Yeah. He's new shit now. Come on. What they didn't tell you, that land he owned in Pennsylvania got more oil than Kuwait. Huh? Huh. That's what this shit is about. Huh? That's what it's about. So this is the game. So somewhere, somewhere, y'all have to understand that something is fixing to happen. You know, y'all can feel it, feel it, feel it. How many y'all in this room? Well, no, I won't say that. I got to hear someone. Uh-oh. I got to hear someone. You don't have to have payback with the church. There's a universal order. But I don't know if it's up or down, if it's a man or one, I don't know. Niggas walking around talking about children and having children. What the fuck are you talking about? What are these little young girls? Well, when God was looking for a woman to put Jesus in, he picked Mary. Mary was 13 years old. What the fuck are you talking about children and having children? That's the one point I like. If the universal God is going to pick a 13 year old girl to put Mary in, you don't tell me I can't get some 14 year old girl. What the fuck are you <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. Since 1930. 
then y'all don't think you're stupid enough to believe that Trump is out there, that it ain't some big shit. Okay, now you can throw that on the floor. What paper is that? Okay. <laughs> 
get all the money. That's still job to do somewhat. In DC, I live in DC. That fucking that goddamn Chinese bear or something. They said it back in this kid. So they've been trying to pay a million dollars a year. So they have to send it fucking back to China. White folks showed up two days in the snow the way he died today. So we have to come and change this and let these ignorant motherfuckers fuck up everything. Somewhere you can make a difference. So uh, my brother Herm is thank you so much. And Felicia, Felicia Harris, one of the best gospel singers on the planet. <laughs> so what is your next year to take a week on? So, uh, we're in the Blue Hall of Fame. Uh, we're uh, inducting. You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? So, someone, let me thank you. I'll be back here. I'll use your instructions. When you leave here tonight, especially you black folks, go home and tell your mother, God oh, damn, I sure enjoy him. He's coming back. <laughs> if any of you white folks leave and didn't like what you heard, go home and keep your fucking mouth shut. Let your white folks come when I come back again <laughs> and suffer like you did. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I just say thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. And to tell you what black folk is, you know, on the south side of Chicago. And no one has skated all you church fucking people. I know y'all heard of, they used to say, my home is my castle, and y'all ever heard that? They used to say that, that was white folk. Did you know that? You know, you haven't heard that in 40 years. We took a case all the way to the Supreme Court. With ACLU and knock that out, that's why you don't get that word no more. That's the power you have. That's the power you have. Somewhere. Somewhere. So I just think y'all, y'all really took care of me. Now, I need, did I tell you that uh, 1.5 million black men is missing? Yes. Is he, is the Washington Post? See it? Now, can you see what it said underneath that moon? Today's earth is a little less lonely. That's the answer. That's what this shit is about. Okay? Now, y'all can throw that on the floor, and you're going to pay the dues. Huh? Coral reefs. Coral. That was put here when God created the planet. Mm -hmm. And they say, can you see what it said there? How sunscreen may be destroying coral reefs. Did you hear me that sunscreen that you white folks is using? <laughs> it shall destroy 80% of the coral reefs that was put here when God put the planet here. See, okay. black, well, black folks ain't worried about it. Y'all be laying in the sun when you lay in the fucking moon. <laughs> and don't get burned. So someone, you have the power. Let me just show you a couple more things. Kennedy, bring this message. This is the shit that Trump and him is talking about. Uh, America, we're going to go back and be a good nation. You ain't never been a good fucking nation. You women, black and white. Huh? Women. One out of every four women in America is abused by men. Cops, one out of two. Motherfuckers think you can fuck with people they don't think about. Somewhere. And how is it we don't look at this woman who's American and all of that, raise the children and whoop her ass? So I tell black women, I don't know white women that well. You don't want to whoop your ass. Don't try to fight him back. That ain't crazy. 
Look at the gorilla's lips. Then his razor blades. You ever see about that? <laughs> and you black folk, you know you ain't got no lips that thin. Huh? But yet still they convince you you look like this motherfucker. <laughs> but what I suggest y'all do is go to the zoo tomorrow. <laughs> and take a cracker. And look at this motherfucker and take a cracker. <laughs> Thank you much. I just want to show you who you are. Who you are. Who you are. Who you are. People can't see it, but I can tell them what you're looking at. Let me see what you're looking at. There's a bigger picture of the price list for that. Now, I have never committed a crime in my life. Throw that on the floor. Huh? And this is what they do? You think it's free? 
and had the Wall Street Journal like Ray and that I wouldn't have known. Like Trump don't know. And he knew all along where it was going when you thought he was stupid. He is stupid. <laughs> but when the powerful folks take over, they do whatever they want to do because you ain't nothing but a bunch of scared punks. Huh? No, we're not. Some of Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Okay, I know. Okay, so you sit by with your little tiff ass job and you have to pay taxes, but he don't. So you ain't gonna call the motherfucker and say, I'll pay when he pays. I said, No, we're not. There's a whole bunch of us think just like you. I didn't say you didn't. I didn't say you didn't, but why are you so fucking upset? Something you want to do, right? Civil disorder operation. 
Black Friend Spider. The 26th this is the order that came from the United States government to kill King. Mm. Okay? Right here, and all you got to do is Google it, and you'll see. The date was March the 28th, April 12th, 1968. The commanding general, U.S. Army Intelligence Command, attended ITD Hall, Fort Hollowburg, Maryland. Said the attached after action report covering the civil disorder operation Laughing Spike, March 26, 12, April 28, is forwarded per the requirement in the USA INTC OPLAN 100-68 for the command. And it was signed F.J. Bridges, CPT. This is the order that went out to kill King from the military. Okay? Now all you can do, you know what it is, you can go on and see it while y'all walking around talking about the communists and all this bullshit, huh? It's happening right here. And so I thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I hope that when you are it, it's just wrong. Woo! <laughs> 